You ready to go? Shh, I'm listening. For what? I asked God for advice. I'm waiting for his answer. Okay. Uh, I don't think he, I don't think he's gonna respond with a loud booming voice. No. Then how am I gonna hear him? How will Jesus talk to me? 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 Will he call my phone? Will he DM me? Will he mail me a letter when he hears my plea? How will Jesus talk to me? How will Jesus talk to me? Have you ever asked God a question and wonder how you will hear his answer? How do you think he can answer us? We'll find out soon. First, let's get our pencils out and draw something. Now let's see if Nathan can figure out how to hear God's answer to his prayers. God's not going to shout at you. He's not? Wouldn't it be scary? Imagine you're in an empty room all alone, and then suddenly you hear a voice. Oh yeah, that's quite scary, actually. Yeah, and also, you feel forced into listening. Yeah, I'll be too scared not to listen. Yeah, Jesus comes to us gently. So if you really want to hear him, you must really want to listen. Okay, but I have another question then. Why he speak to us in another language? Why would he talk in another language? Jesus didn't speak in English, right? Yeah, but he can if he wants to. I mean, he created all the languages. So he won't answer me in Moscow or anything? No. Jesus will answer you in a way we would all understand. Like the three wise men. The three wise who? The three wise men came from the east during the days when Jesus had just been born. We don't know a whole lot about them, but it's quite likely that they were men who studied the stars in the night sky looking for signs. Knowing this about them, God showed them a sign he knew they would find a star that rose and guided them to where the baby Jesus was. So they traveled across Jerusalem until they found Jesus with Mary, his mother. Seeing this sign that God had put in the sky for them, and seeing the Messiah in person, they knew he was the Lord. So they fell to the ground in worship and gave him precious gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We can see from this story that God knows each of us deeply and knows how to talk to us in ways we can understand. How do you think God talks to you in your life? So God can even show us things? Yeah, He can communicate in many ways. He can also communicate to other people. Like if I ask Him, must he say I should join us, football ball would hit me in the head? Uh, I don't know about that one, but maybe like if you're having trouble and then you go for mass and the readings are like related. 
What if I'm not sure? You then you can always pray to God, and maybe He'll respond in your heart. Cool. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Maybe on the way there, the answer to my prayer will hit me on the head. That's how Jesus talks to me. That's how Jesus talks to me. Through the people I love greatly and the signs that I can see. Through the scripture verses and what they impart. Through the things he says to me in my heart. That's how Jesus talks to me. That's how Jesus talks to me. That's right. God can talk to us in so many ways as long as we keep our hearts open to hearing His message. So keep talking to God in prayer and listening as well. Hope you enjoyed that adventure. See you next week. Let his love complete you. Oh, nothing can defeat you if you live the love of God. 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 Live the love of God.